You're in town to talk about plans for global expansion beyond Asia. How are those plans going and how do you plan to make it happen? Well, it's, it's a big world out there. <laughs> uh, and um, we are you know, very blessed to have a very big user base in China, 450 million uh, active users in China. And our first step in the global expansion is to serve those consumers as they travel abroad. Mm -hmm. And they look to shop, they look to be tourists in all sorts of destinations, and we look to serve them. And today we're very pleased that Alipay is accepted in over 80 countries around the world. And um, so when those uh, Chinese consumers travel abroad, we can, we can serve them. Now, Ant Financial is made up of more than just Alipay. There are five different sectors. Give us a quick explainer. Um, yes, we have. We started as a payments business 12 years ago. We've expanded beyond that to where today we do lending uh, to both small and medium-sized enterprises as well as consumers. Uh, we also offer insurance products, um, and we offer a credit scoring product, and uh, we're expanding into multiple different services uh, like Kobe, which is uh, an O2O service uh, where we provide users with an ability to do things like to find a place to dine or to order in food. So, so there are reports that Ant will be going public next year. Uh, I know you can't discuss any specifics, but any updates on time, place? Growth targets? No, no updates at this point. Uh, you know, I think uh, we see the benefits of being uh, a public company, uh, but we don't have specific plans as to you know timetable or venue at, at this point. And have you guys been watching? You know, obviously there's a lot going on with the election, following the the, the political climate, and and you know, some of President-elect Trump's potential plans for the relationship between the United States and China. Any concern? Uh, no particular concerns. I think we, um, you know, we're very focused on our consumers and just what we can do to serve them. And it really is increasingly a global consumer base now with our joint venture in Paytm in India, uh, with Ascend Money in Thailand. And so we are, you know, building that global business, which we think will do well in, in all sorts of different political environments. So we really focus on those uh, those aspects. Now, of business. over the last few days, there's been some controversy around Alipay. There's an attempt to add some social networking features called Circles. Uh, there ended up being a lot of photos of, of scantily clad women posted who were supposedly looking for wealthy boyfriends. Other users were divided into groups based on their credit score. There was a, a, a big backlash. Um, do you think that those features crossed the line? Do you think that there's been damage to the brand as a result? Um, look, we uh, we take uh, our um, our network seriously and, and our and our application. And um, you know we're really focused on serving the consumers, and social aspects are a part of what we do to serve those consumers. Um, as it relates to these um, these situations, uh, any inappropriate content has been taken down. Um, any of those circles have been closed if there was anything that was created inappropriately in them. So um, we think we've put that behind us and, and and put that to bed. So what other social networking type features might you consider adding? Well, we have uh, various different. Um, social aspects to the business because as we started as just a payments tool and then provide a much broader range of services we want to engage our users to think about what they can do every day when they shop dine purchase for things and so we want our users to be able to share that information amongst themselves and to share it with merchants and so there are a whole host of aspects of alipay that allow those users to share that information with each other and with merchants and the merchants back to our consumers. So things like circles will continue to expand and we want to have a greater user engagement so that our users feel more comfortable using the app and feel, want to use it more and more each day. So last quick question, how do you see the competitive landscape changing, especially in China, when it comes to fintech, when you see the moves that companies like JD and Tencent are making? Well, it's a competitive landscape for uh, payments globally, mm -hmm. uh, and it, it will be, it certainly is in China. Um, we continue to see innovation. One of the great things about our model is that we're an open ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So we work with all different providers of financial services, all different intermediaries, and we bring kind of the best practices of all those different groups to uh, the Alipay app and to our partners' apps in these other countries. And so we think that approach to our business will enable us to uh, continue to innovate and continue to build user engagement uh, over time in spite of strong competition. 